Hey guys, what's up? Marco here, back once again from my color screen. If you really enjoy customizing your Android phone, then I know you're gonna dig this. Great, so today's video tutorial is on a my color screen screen of the day by Pytex with his brilliant screen called Maxi. And it looks really good and stands out from the crowd because it's got those colored folders dropping down from that left hand side that comes with everything that you need to know such as your time, your date, your missed calls, your text messages and it all looks really good as it kind of looks like they filed behind each other which is quite a neat concept and it hasn't really been seen too much on home screens so it looks really good it's got that little drop down notification at the top left there just by tapping it brings down your notifications really neat idea so if you'd like to recreate this setup on your android phone let us begin with today's simple video tutorial let's do it great so before you begin this very simple setup there are only two apps that you need in order to complete it you'll be needing uccw for that little sidebar over there as well as a launcher such as nova launcher apex launcher ss launcher maybe not too good i'd rather go for hola launcher for all those gingerbread torians out there so let us begin with setting up our launcher. Great, so let's jump into our Nova Launcher settings. I'll be holding down and selecting the little wrench there to get into my Nova Launcher settings. You can also just go into your menu there. From here, we're gonna jump into our desktop settings and then into our desktop grid. I'll be selecting a 12 by six. It works pretty well for all phones. I know this is designed for Galaxy S3, but a 12 by six still worked for my Nexus 4, which I really like. You want your margins to be on none. Your home screen you only want one home screen nothing fancy there so you can leave the rest none and you want to disable label icons and you want to be able to resi resize all widgets and um, widget overlap overlap when placing not too important as this is going to be one uccw skin but you can always just leave it there just in case so we're just going to go back we're going to go into our dock you definitely want that to be disabled no dock in this setup we're going to go into our look and feel we scroll down see it says show notification bar we want to disable that we're not gonna want that thing at the top well that notification bar at the top but we're gonna be bringing it down we'll come to that at the end of the video gonna go back now and that is our launcher settings complete very easy to do we're just gonna go back now the, your notification should disappear if you've got any apps or widgets on your home screen remember to delete them just by holding them down and selecting remove or just drag them into the X at the top Great, once that's done, we're gonna jump into our wallpaper setup. Now this wallpaper is very easy to do. You're just gonna be holding down and selecting your wallpapers. Now the Galaxy S3 resolution people, the ones with the 720 by 1280, they're very lucky as this wallpaper's pretty much been designed for them. For the rest of us, we always got wallpaper wizardry to back us up. What I have done is set up a wallpaper for the Nexus 4, which actually fits pretty well. Don't worry, I'll provide everything that you need in the links below, so you definitely want to go check out the description. So what I've done is just set the wallpaper. As you can see, it's a little bit higher than the, the, than the original wallpaper. There's not really much I could do about that. You're welcome to use Photoshop if you want to do, go your own way, but it still looks very good just like this. Now for the Galaxy S4 users and other phone users, I do recommend using wallpaper wizardry just to get that screen to fit quite well. What I just recommend you do is select set. Once you've loaded it up, you want to select quick. They've revamped this up a bit, I'm not too sure why, but you just want to select no scroll now. And then I always like to go crop portrait. It works pretty well for the Nexus 4. What you just want to do now is just resize it a bit so it just touches the edges. And I made it fit the top there. As you can see, it's not getting in the navigation bar at the bottom. Remember, this is specifically for the Nexus 4 users. Other phone resolutions, first try the original wallpaper. If you're having no luck, use wallpaper wizardry. Just set it normally in your gallery, such as your quick pick or just your standard gallery. But if not, I do recommend using wallpaper wizardry like I'm doing now. So I'm just going to select set. It's going to say setting wallpaper, which it's then going to set your wallpaper. Haha. <laughs> and then... That should be it. It should have your little sidebar here with a little star showing. So that's pretty much your setup done. We're now gonna move on to our UCCW setup. So moving on to UCCW, very easy to do. It's gonna be one skin. So we're just gonna hold down on the home screen. We're gonna be selecting our widgets. And we're gonna scroll all the way to UCCW over here. 
as always, doesn't really matter what size you're choosing, if you're importing it as you're gonna be resizing it anyway, and you wanna select use it at the top just like that. Now, if you go copy that folder that, that, that the author has provided onto your phone, a use up should pop up. You don't have to unzip it or whatever and or click it in your file explorer. Just open it up and use CCW, select it. It's going to import it for you or you, you'll see a massive hand. You're just going to select it now, tap it, which will now allow you to resize it like this. Hold on and select resize. And then you can move it around like this. Now, like I said, it's designed for that 720 by 1 to 80 resolution so if this is say the best you can do or the best you can get it do not worry as it's uccw you can just shift everything up once or twice in order to do that you'll just select the skin you want to select background here which brings up your select object menu here and you want to scroll all the way down wait first of all your gmail is going to be out of sync so you want to select gmail one as it's got a funny label there if you just noticed earlier and you want to scroll all the way across here you want to select controls number five where you'll be bringing up your account now you're going to select your account which will then bring up your gmail accounts you want to select a gmail accounts and then your label you can say whatever like your inbox i always go for inbox great moving on like i said to those moving everything all at once you're going to select this part here again to bring this button here to bring up your select object menu and you want to select common controls what that means is that you move one thing, you move them all. So you're going to be selecting position. So say I wanted to move it up, I'll select fast movement works pretty well. So let's go like up once, twice, cross once again. So close, let's see what it looks like. Ugh, not too good, so maybe bring it up a little bit more. But the fact is you just need to shift things up and down a little bit to just get it into those perfect positions. Once that's done, you want to select your menu again here as we want to be now configuring our hotspots which is the one at the top here as you can see they're a little bit teeny tiny to know what's what so you might just have to go back and forth and just double check what's what but as you can see they go in order one two three four five six seven and at like as always if you want to change your hotspot say if you want to change the clock one and you want it to open up your calendar or your time you will select hotspot number one hotspots and then select your app or shortcut whatever float your boat and then you can go for something like say for your clock where is it now here so you just select it like that so now my hotspot one has been configured and you want to be doing for each one of those different hotspots so they'll open up your specific apps and not the authors as then if you don't have that app it'll not open so that is pretty much UCCW in a nutshell. If you would like to find out more, check out our link in the description below to the tutorials on how to use UCCW. But for now, once you've got everything the way that you want it, you just want to select your menu here, lock widgets, and then say on. It's going to enable your hotspot mode. So say now you want to go into, say your phone, you can just select your calls here like that, brings up your dialer, very quick and simple. Say your Gmail, just select that, brings up your Gmail. It looks really good. Even your app draw as well, just selecting that brings up your app draw. Really cool, so I really enjoy that. So next we're going to be moving on to our Nova actions, such as our drop down notification there, as well as you can add in a little folder at the bottom. Great, so to add in a little folder at the bottom, say for your favorites, you're welcome to use Simi folder or even use CTW, but I just prefer the good old, good old fashioned method of holding down on your home screen, selecting apps, and then choosing whatever favorite ones you want. In Nova, what's great, you can say select multiple, and select any ones that you want and I'm just gonna go choose any and then you can say create folder so all you have to do now is just drag that into your favorites area hold down on it select your edit button there select the picture go into your gallery or quick pick or whatever and find a blank PNG don't worry one has been provided for you and you want to select OK and then OK again so quick and easy to do you can just pops up your, with your little favorites there I really enjoy that Next, we're going to be moving on to our drop down notifications at the top there. So, you want to get into your corner there, basically, where that little arrow is there. You want to select Nova Actions and expand notifications because when you tap it like this, it's going to put, bring down your notification menu there, draw, whatever. So, you want to hold down on it, select Edit, and you want to select the icon again, the exact same procedure. Go into Quick Pick, you want to go into find your folder where you've Put your blank PNG and you want to select OK and then select the tick. So just double checking that it works. Let's tick, try it out and boom, just like that. So 
there's your home screen completed just checking that everything works you got your little favorites there you've got say for your app drawer just selecting it like that you've got your mail and whatever other hotspots you've configured and then your beautiful little drop down notification menu just like that so thanks very much guys for watching this is marco here from my color screen if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel please do as well as leave it a like or comment see what you think as well as check out our facebook google plus and twitter communities so thanks very much guys for watching marco here from my color screen and as always don't stop customizing just realized that these were the my color screen colors that's very cool